Hello everybody, welcome to Behave Learning SQL first lesson. On this one, I will tell you how you can practice SQL and then if you are interested, you can also go different routes. The very first way I will tell you is to use Oracle Live SQL. So try to get there, but you have to make an account. I already have an account. So this is where you can click start coding and it has a worksheet that you can put in your code and then you can also see different schemas here and then if you have recorded any you will find them in my scripts and then the other way to practice SQL is through websites like HackerRank or other places you can always go about and solve some questions there another solution is to install Oracle Express database in your machine. But if your machine is not as fast, is not as good, then I don't recommend that you install Oracle to your machine. If you did, you would end up, uh, you can use SQL Developer from Oracle. You can download it from internet. And then you can see, once you download it, you can check out that it has already HR database is country, departments, employees, job history, jobs, locations, and regions. So these are the things that you can check out once you install Express. This is my local database that I have connected. And later on, I can show you how to get it connected and activated. But first, today, let's check out how we can use Oracle Live SQL website. In the worksheet, let's try to write a simple code that we can come up with. For example, you can say select and then say start, select all from employees. And this is the statement. If you ever start studied HR database, this is how you would do it. But in the live SQL web page, this may not work. And let's get, get it checked out. As you can see, it says it doesn't exist. Actually, it exists, but we just didn't call it properly. For that, we are just going to go and then add hr.employees. That's all. And then click run. And it already listed the table to us. But because we said select all of them, it returned all of them to us. All right. Next, let's check out another simple query. And let's say select first name. And then salary from hr.employees. On this one, we're going to get first name and salary. All right, first name and salary. But we didn't specify how many of them, which is why it's giving us all of them. And then we can save this one, for example, and then you can name it my first SQL test. And then you can save it private. Oh, it asks it to add description. Let's say first test. And then we can keep it private. And then we can come back to a scale worksheet again. And then since it's saved, I can get rid of these. Let's utilize a keyword, Rona. Let's say Rona. Just like the name suggests, just give us the rows that we specify. For example, we can say select first name, let's say salary, and then say from hr.employees. And we can add the very clause in our condition. And then we're going to say row num, let's say less than or equal to three. All right, it's going to give me the first three in the table. All right, so we can say get first three records on in the HR table. Okay, I can comment this out now. Let's add another query. 
Now let's order by. Now let's order them. And let me write here. Order by. And we can order by increasingly or decreasingly. So we will check them out. And let's say select first name and then salary from hr.employees. Again, we put our condition where row num is, let's say this time, let's get five of them. Say less than or equal to five. And then we are specifying and saying order by and let's say descending. And let's run this. As you can see, it says missing, missing expression. When you say order by, we have to specify what are we ordering? Are we ordering first name or salary? So it has to be passed in here. So we want to order the salary as expected. And let's run it again. Now that we see descending, these are the people with their salary. All right, so we got that. How about ascending? So it's going to be exactly similar. And then we are just going to change the last keyword to ascending. And then let's run this. All right, it's just sorting out ascending now. Let's do a final example. Let's say, let's use the round function and then get monthly salary. Let's say round function to get monthly salary. And then let's say select first name and then we're going to round salary and we have to divide it by 12 to get monthly and we can use aliases say as monthly salary also you don't have to specify the alias as you can just leave it and it's going to take monthly salary regardless and then we're going to say from hr.employees where row num is less than or equal to three. Let's execute. As you can see, these people monthly get that that shows in the table. And you can always change this monthly salary or the first name. Let's say first name, first name. All right. Then as you can see, I did not put as in between. Now let's run it. And now you can see first name came in. But optionally, you can still put as in between. It will make your code readable, but it's also okay not to use it. So let me take out this one. Same result. That will be all for today's video. Hopefully you got something out of today. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you just need to use this HR dot to access the tables. Thanks for watching. Until next time.